What's going on everyone, Aegis B here. It is about to be spring in a couple of months. And that means that Apple will of course on schedule be announcing a bunch of cool things that I'm very excited about. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about all the leaks, rumors and all the juicy details before I do get into it though, I'm gonna kindly ask you guys at home to hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, it does help my channel grow and I really do appreciate it. Back to the video. Also in this video, I'm gonna be announcing the winner of the Apple Watch Series 3. I'm not gonna tell you when, so stay tuned. So let's start with the first one and this is the iPhone SE. It's basically an older iPhone body with newer internal spec. And of course it will include the A15 chip. Now the A15 chip is still the same processor that you can find in the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro, even though the Pro versions do have a slightly clocked speed. Regardless, Apple is actually going to be keeping the body of the iPhone 8. That means they're gonna get thicker bezels, a less modern looking phone, and Touch ID, which might be a benefit depending on how you use your iPhone. The iPhone SE will also feature 5G capabilities and is rumored to start at 399 which is really cheap for an iPhone and an easy way to get into it if you're not trying to break the bank. Let's talk about the iPad Air 5. And last year when Apple announced the iPad Air 4, that was probably my biggest video. And I basically said why you shouldn't buy it, but this year it's looking a little bit more enticing. And let me tell you why. Now there's not gonna be that many design changes if we're talking about the iPad Air 5. However, we're gonna see more colors, including a gold color that looks really, really good. The iPad Air 5 will feature the A15 Bionic chip. It will also have all of the staples like USB-C, 5G capabilities, and of course it's going to keep that Touch ID button right where it is, which for a lot of people it works, especially if you're wearing masks and it's the easy way to access your iPad without needing to really take off your mask. As for the screen size though, the iPad Air 5 will actually have a 10.9 inch LCD screen. It's not going to be like an XDR display that you're going to find on the 12 inch iPad, but you don't really expect that much for the price. Now if I was going to complain about something is that it kind of is expensive, especially that you're only getting 64 gigs, which doesn't really cut it from my usage. So I do hope that Apple is able to keep the price of the current iPad Air 4 and also give us 128 gigs to start. A man could dream, right? That said, the iPad Air 5 will probably cost $599, which isn't too bad for what you get. A device that I'm really looking forward to is the Mac Mini. It's so small and portable, you can just tuck it away at your desk and it's not really in the way and it's probably easier to carry around than a laptop. I, I know that you're probably gonna need a display, but I digress. So it's gonna look very similar to the old one. The new Mac Mini actually is gonna be two-toned. So that means that, Similar to the iMacs that were released last year, these they're gonna have like a color blue and then like a darker blue. Now, according to rumors, the Mac Mini will also have a plexiglass top, which looks pretty cool, but I don't know if it'll have a functional difference. Also, the Mac Mini will feature a magnetic MagSafe port, similar to the one found in the iMacs that were released last year. And last but not least, let's talk about the iMac, the 27 inch version. So according to rumors, Apple will be releasing a new one along with the Mac Mini. And this new Mac Mini is gonna look a lot like the Pro XDR display, but it is gonna feature the new chips as we saw in the 2021 MacBooks that were released last year. So that means that in all the computers that Apple will be releasing at this event, there will not be a M2 chip. Now that pretty much wraps up my video guys. What do you guys think about everything Apple will be announcing? Are you guys excited? Do you guys even believe the leaks and rumors? Sometimes I don't, but it is good to share it. So drop your comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.